Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Today I am making a video regarding how to apply for Canadian passport for the child. So I will proceed with the step by step. So first of all, you will search for Canada passport. You will see the first link that belongs to Canadian government. Canadian passports on the first page you will see the information regarding Canadian passports and other travel documents so you can see there is uh, three options we have to choose one of them so if you are traveling within two days or less we can go for that option if we are looking your passport to travel three to 45 business days then the second option will work but on first and second option we need the proof of travel and on the third option 46 business days or more you don't need any proof when you are traveling but when I applied for the third option, I got my passport back in a month and we sent all the documents by courier. So that we are going to talk about today. And these are all the options is applying from the Canada. And you will choose the option from third one, applying for child passport. You can see some of the important details on the page comes up so we can send our documents by mail or you can visit your near location service canada you can go walk in or can book a appointment as well and submit all the documents there but then also it's gonna be a same process in time the service canada office will send documents from behalf of them to the processing center for the passport but you can send your own documents by the courier and for the child passport will be valid for five years and for the adults it's valid for 10 years who can apply for child passport you can go through with some details and processing time showing 13 weeks so like three months but when we applied we almost get in a month and you always can check the status by calling them or you can just request about your application so we will choose the child is not adopted so you will go for first option and there is two options which way you want to apply both ways is the same so I will go by mail so the next option is where in Canada are you applying from so it's gonna be the same thing you can choose where you are staying right now so I'm in British Columbia was this child's most recent passport he don't have so this is the form we have to fill with all the details all the necessary details you can find in the application form as well you can go through with it but while following my video you will get all the information so don't worry so download the form 
so this is the form we have to fill so name of the child all former surnames he don't have any surname before so we don't need to write this anything here place of birth the name of the city where he born choose country the province BC date of birth for the child make sure you go through with your details I'm just putting random details height you can find the height on uh, there is a one book that you get from the hospital there you can find the weight and height all details about the child if you don't know current home address apartment same for the city mailing address if your mailing address is different then you have to write it if not then just leave it blank this is very important some persons confuse about it children's under 16 of the age is not required to sign this application form so you have to leave it blank even the parents don't have to sign here you can just leave it blank don't need to sign this one so these all portion will stay blank signing date city province date signature inside the border all will stay blank don't need to write anything and keep in mind one thing too this form have to fill with the capital letters only if you're filling by the pen then black or dark blue ink will be used but this form can filled online as well so you don't need to worry about it and we are on section 2 right now is the child currently the subject of an adoption then no if adopted then go for yes and have to attach the documents when the child adopted for sure you receive some of the documents that's ha the original documents have to send with the application and is there any separation agreement no so a relationship between the applicant parent or legal guardian and the other parents or legal guardian if both parents are together then go for married and date of marriage applicant parent or legal guardian so both parents can be here but very important thing which one parents name you are putting on the left side of the form that person have to sign in this form 
somewhere else too so keep in mind and who will go on the other parents that just have to fill only on the right side so current surname make sure it's match with the birth certificate of the child no any former surname leave it blank date of birth country of birth India current home address is the Canadian address I will not take more time because otherwise the form is gonna show longer telephone day time email so the person have to sign here signature of the applicant so the father have to sign here and make sure you also sign on this section 5 keep in mind this person have to sign somewhere else as well so he will go the date sign that the location the same details have to fill as other parents so this can be for the mom same thing have to fill this side as well and signature will go here date and the location for example Vancouver And very important when you choose this person as applicant and the other parents choose as applicant because we need one person call grantier grantier so someone knows the parents any one of them mom or dad from two years in Canada so it's good to you put that details that person details on applicant so on the section 3 if child only have passport or any travel documents then you have to give a number date of issue or you can say no if he don't have any passport before and we don't need to answer the second question only if you say yes then take on that if you want that passport to return going on the section 4 proof of Canadian citizenship so for the child we have his birth certificate so tick on the first one the second one no this is for the if person getting citizenship like from the permanent residency so that person have only certificate of citizenship but he is citizen from the birth so he have a birth certificate the number will go here you can find on the birth certificate that number will be there date of issue will be there as well and the second will not need to fill anything declaration of the applicant so here also the 
the father details comes here that I already discussed before these details applicant so who's gonna come here that the person will come on section 5 as well a relationship to the child father and surname for the child given name for the child signature of the applicant so the father's signature will come in this box as well date will come here city will come here and the province will come here BC and the sixth part is very important you need to find somebody not from your family it can be a doctor as well or any person you know in a workplace or any family friend who's known the person from two years so that person's surname will comes here given names and date of birth Canadian passport number that person for sure have a passport that person you need because those details have to be here and date of issue Oh, but Canadian passport is valid for 10 years only. So for sure, maybe here the person have, for example, an expiry date will be there. So we'll go till maybe 2028. This is just a random information I'm putting it but exactly the same way you have to go telephone number for the person if you have another phone number in relationship to the applicant so same I said the applicant is not the child here applicant the father details if it's a mother details then yeah the same way and the section 5 we filled with that person details as well as a father so he can be friend or anybody colleague working with you so you can just write friend and current home address for that person will come here all the things even this person is not in Canada but knows you then he he can come here but he should be a citizen of Canada and need to write here full name of the applicant so it's father name of the child Full name so this is the question how many years this person know so you can write here under down two years here that person will signature and he will put a date this section 6 that person have to fill if you, or you can fill on the same time make sure you give you write the correct details when he should have a passport in his hand fill the details ask him to sign and 
date when he is signing and this form should filled in the one year not more than one year then the form will be not valid and make sure you go on this declaration the same person will sign on the photo as well one of the photo you we need two photo for the child the size i will let you know in this form and on the one photo this grantier will sign as well emergency contact anyone from the parents or anybody you like to put it here so this is just the instructions filling a form you have you can go through with it this page will go with the courier as well both pages of the application are completed and signed in 12 months I have to take this one so this will have to take two identical and get a password photo child taken within six months one signed by the grantier this one have to take proof of Canadian citizenship have to send the original birth certificate so don't worry you will receive your birth certificate with the passport this one have to take any valid Canadian travel documents leave it blank and the next option acceptable proof of C section K all documents including any divorce if you have any documents that you are attaching adoption documents or any divorce judgment or any court order make sure if you are attaching those documents then tick yes and the fee have to pay then tick yes as well this option has to take because both parents name is on birth certificate the fees is $57 Canadian that we have to give the details of the credit card in this form or we can give a draft as well but it's it's good to give these details because draft have to pay five to ten dollars as well and have to spend time to go to a bank and get that so if you're going in person can pay there if you're sending by mail by courier then credit card visa master american any prepaid card and bossed only this will work and if you are going to send a check or money order call draft as well then it should be payable general of canada then you can send by courier with the same application section e credit card information whatever card you have card number will come here expiry and year this will leave it blank for official use only name of the child so here if it's mom card then mom name or dad card the person will come here child name how much we are giving 57 Canadian dollars signature of the card holder will have to signature in this box and if you are applying in person you can submit your form in service canada office or passport program regional office service canada office is everywhere in canada even in small towns so that's the best way to submit if you are planning to do in person but it's good to do by email just sent by courier applying by mail there is the addresses by mail from British Columbia then this is the address 
you can see the location you are in British Columbia Yukon or these are the location then this address will work the first first one and from different locations New Brunswick or Newfoundland or Nova Scotia Prince Edward then this address will work by mail from other provinces if you see your province is not in these two on the first and second then send on this address but by mail only so by mail is like Canada post if you are using any private courier so this is the address will work so don't confuse the mail is the Canada Post and the another by the courier is any another private company in Canada and make sure you send the trackable courier so the, there is some information about the grant here 18 years of age or over can speak English or French they can call him should be 12 months know the person at least two years and the grantor have to write on the photo I certify this is to be a true likeness of the child name Bardan Sharma whatever your name whatever the child name on the back of the photo and he will sign the photo as well only the one photo and the another thing on the photo have to be a signature from the photograph so it's good to you can take the photo from shopper drug mart or staples and you just ask i need a photo for the canadian passport they will have a size for the photo and uh, if you want to look there should be somewhere in the form as well hey go on the bottom so the photo can be 50 by 70 mm but for sure the photo requirement with those bigger retailers they will have sure but make sure you double check and these should be the details will come on the back of the photos he will stamp on the photo will have an address he will sign and the date will be there and one line the grantor will write on it with the child name and he will signature on that photo as well on the one photo but you will send two photos so form is filled so what do you have to put in the envelope for the courier the form and birth certificate if any the original one and if there are any another documents related to the passport then those will go with that and two photos and after that you just save the form and print it thank you for watching the video if you need any help regarding application please let me know i will try my best to help you as soon as possible if you stuck anywhere in the forum please let me know i will reply as soon as possible and please like share and subscribe to the our channel it will help to grow our channel as well and really appreciate that and thanks for watching our video thank you have a very good day